We live in a marvellous world, a world of contrasts and wonders. In this series, we will be tackling the big questions. How was the universe made? What is matter actually made of? Who are we? Do you know where the nearest toilet is? No? Accompany me on my never-ending quest to understand the marvels of science. Welcome to the latest edition of Marvels of Science from around the world, this time from Dubrovnik in Croatia. I've travelled all the way to Dubrovnik to explain photosynthesis, okay, how plants get their energy from the sun, which isn't in out at the moment. Photosynthesis is one of the most important chemical processes on Earth. It takes place in the leaves of plants. Leaves that come in lots of wonderful different shapes and sizes. Here I am in the middle of the Thailand Shirnesian rainforest, and um, as you can see quite clearly, there's lots of leaves here as well. In fact, they've got some very special leaves here in Thailand. Thailand Shirnesian. Yep. You sure that's right? Yeah. You sure? You're not, you're not trying to make me look like an idiot, are you? Because eh? you, you aren't, you know. I'm not that. Thailand? You sure? You're not drunk. You don't make me look a fool. Fair enough. I believe you. Yeah? Uh, we'll go with that. We'll let it this out, yeah? Okay. Rainforests are major consumers of atmospheric carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. Now that's what I call a leaf. Look at the size of that. Hey, amazing. Marvellous. And for living things, photosynthesis is the most important chemical process on Earth. Here I am, deep in the heart of the Thailand Shinesian rainforest. And you can see the massive variety of leaves that is on offer, and also the size of them. It's absolutely marvellous. You are going to edit that guy out, yeah? It was the, no, the hotel gardener. He's like an idiot. They're going to know we're not in the rainforest. You can hear the rotor thing going on behind us, and his lawnmower. Yeah? You yeah. will. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't look an idiot, do I? I don't look cool. For photosynthesis, a plant needs three things. It needs leaves, it needs water, it needs sunlight. On behalf of the rest of the crew, I'm afraid I must really apologise. Um, the man is actually an idiot and he just made a really stupid mistake. All will become clear once again, sorry. Of course, I did make a mistake while I was filming in Croatia. So I've had to come all the way here to Marienfeld in Germany to put that mistake right. There are actually four things required for photosynthesis. Leaves, sunlight, water, and of course, carbon dioxide. Leaves are miraculous solar factories that turn sunlight into chemical energy. The sun's energy is used to split off water's hydrogen from its oxygen. This hydrogen is then combined with CO2 to form glucose and the oxygen is released back into the atmosphere. Let's be absolutely clear. Sunlight plus carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen. Carbon dioxide, the one that I forgot when we were in uh, Croatia, when we went all that way. Carbon dioxide is the most important because that's what plants do. They take carbon dioxide and they turn it back into oxygen. They are the lungs of our planet, they're essential. And I forgot to mention that in Croatia. Are you happy now? Yeah? Yeah? Groveled, done it, done what you asked. I know we have to come to Germany, could afford to go to Croatia again, but I've done it, okay? The rate of photosynthesis is affected by several things. Light, temperature and the availability of carbon dioxide all affect the rate of photosynthesis. The role that photosynthesis plays in sustaining all life on Earth and as a major part of the carbon cycle cannot be stressed enough. All living things get their energy from photosynthesis either directly or indirectly. 
horses, for example, are herbivores and they eat the plants. The plants got their energy from the sun and photosynthesis in the first place. And then we eat herbivores. Not, not horses, we don't eat horses, we're not French. Not fre There's nothing wrong with uh, eating horses if you are French viewers, but uh, we don't because we're British. We eat cows and stuff, but not horses. Or dogs, the dogs are carnivores. Um, but anyway, so, uh, should we move on? Love horses. The light energy is converted into chemical energy by chlorophyll in the leaves. Chlorophyll is the green pigment found in chloroplasts. By using revolutionary 2D CGI, we can look inside a leaf at the actual plant cells it's made up of. Plant cells are very similar to animal cells, except they have a hard cell wall and a vacuole inside which is filled with sap. The nucleus controls the activity of the cell and contains the DNA, while the cytoplasm is where most of the chemical reactions take place. It's in the cytoplasm that we find the chloroplasts, and this is where photosynthesis occurs. Back to me in Croatia. Did you know that leaves are green because they absorb blue and red light but they reflect the green? Okay, that's why they look green. That's the stuff they need for photosynthesis is actually the red and the blue light. Amazing. Fig leaf. Like Adam and Eve had it. You know, Romeo and Juliet had of a fig tree. Remember those? Romeo and, no, Adam and Eve, yeah. Out the Bible and God created the Bible. Well, well, no, God created the earth, didn't he, 4,000 years ago? That's when history began. Sorry? Wait, what do you mean that's not, what do you mean that's not true? Because it's true. Everyone knows that. Don't treat me like an idiot, I'm a science presenter. What do you mean? 13.8, 13.8 billion years, are you having a laugh? 4,000. You tell me Santa's not real. Then. Next. Sorry? What do you mean? Really? No. Cheers. Just like animal cells, all plant cells also contain mitochondria. Here, the sugars produced by photosynthesis are converted into energy. This is called respiration. Any glucose that is left over can also be converted into starch grains and stored within the cells. It really is marvellous, marvellous how leaves, simple leaves can turn light and water into kind of oxygen and carbon dioxide as well. It's really it's quite beautiful. Too, too coxy? Yeah? Tone it down a bit? Okay, go, go again. So, what have I learned here in Croatia about photosynthesis? Well, I did learn eventually after a trip to Germany that photosynthesis is when carbon dioxide, water and sunlight combine to give glucose plus oxygen in a chemical reaction. The photosynthesis takes place in the chlorophyll stored in chloroplasts in leaves. I even had time to pop over to Bosnia to see if their leaves were the same too. I've come all the way to Bosnia to find out if leaves are the same. They are. Truly a marvel of modern science and uh, ancient science too. So plants are very important. They take in carbon dioxide from our atmosphere and actually give out oxygen. They're like the lungs of our planet. So don't harm them, don't chop them down, don't pull off leaves and stuff. Don't stop it, okay? Plant more trees, we need them. That's all from here, Croatia, Dubrovnik. Could have done it in Barnsley, but I just like it here, it's nicer. Why not? Bye. And so I left Croatia behind. My journeys to begin again on my never-ending quest to discover more about marvels of science. Oh, and by the way, that cameraman was not as good as he thought the one we had in Croatia. No, he was wrong. It's not 13.8 billion years old, the universe. It's actually 13.7. Uh, what? Yeah, I know I thought it was 4,000 and he was close, but that's not the point, is it? He was still wrong. Hey? You're just as bad as him, you are.